So first of all, uh, let me start by greeting all of you, the participants in the state level seminar taking place on the occasion of the 75th anniversary of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. Uh, I'm very happy to be with you today, even if online, but I can at least see this beautiful room with all of you uh, sitting uh, uh, around. And I would like to thank the organizers of this event for having invited uh, my office, the United Nations Human Rights Office, to contribute. It is a pleasure to see such a coalition of educational institutions civil society organization and human rights defenders, including many students also and young people coming together to discuss human rights. I would like to focus my intervention on two main issues. First, the continued significance of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights after 75 years since its adoption. And second, the importance of human rights education, including for, with, and by young people, for realizing the vision contained in the Declaration. The Universal Declaration is a tremendous achievement of humanity, drafted by representatives with different legal and cultural backgrounds from all regions of the world, the declaration was proclaimed by the United Nations General Assembly in Paris on 10 December 1948 as a common standard of achievement for all peoples and all nations. Despite the context in which it was developed, a divided and devastated world after the Second World War, the Universal Declaration conveyed a powerful and unifying message of hope for millions of people. Think of only its very beginning, the beautiful Article 1. All human beings are born free and equal in dignity and rights. The Declaration sets concisely and clearly the rights civil, cultural, economic, political, and social rights, as well as the right to development, belonging to all human beings. The Universal Declaration has generated action for human rights protection in many ways. It has inspired hundreds of human rights documents and agreements that together constitute international human rights law as well as international bodies and mechanisms which are devoted to the protection of human rights. The principles of the Universal Declaration have supported the decolonization struggle and have inspired the constitutions and national legislation of the many newly established countries that have joined the United Nations in the 60s, in the 70s, as well as the setting up of national and regional mechanisms and institutions to protect human rights. And the Universal Declaration continues to guide the work of all human rights defenders and advocates worldwide. It is the most translated document in the world, and we have collaborated, as it was mentioned before, with People's Watch Tamil Nadu to further translate it into local languages. In its preamble, in its beginning, the Universal Declaration tasks every individual and institution to promote respect for human rights through teaching and education. And here I come to my second point, which is human rights education. Human rights education has seldom been more important than at this moment in history when we see many threats and challenges to our humanity, violent conflict, inequalities and discrimination, climate change, to mention some. We need solutions to these challenges of our age. 
solutions grounded in the understanding that all of us are equally deserving dignity, respect, and justice. This is the task of human rights education, to foster a sense of our common humanity and to promote our common language, the language of human rights. This while embracing and valuing our differences. Effective human rights education empowers individuals and groups to identify their rights and those of others and to claim them. It supports critical thinking and offers solutions to problems that are consistent with human rights principles. It encourages everyone to participate in the collective realization of human rights. And uh, in terms of participation, particularly I would like to focus because of this audience on the participation of young people. And so I speak to the many students and young people in the room. A few days ago, on 11 December, our office, which is the UN Human Rights Office, launched a new film, Changemakers, Stories of Young Human Rights Educators. A film which documents the work of seven young people from around the world, South Africa, Samoa, Kyrgyzstan, Morocco, Serbia, Mexico, and Japan. Those young people, like many others worldwide, are speaking out against oppression, violence, and discrimination, advocating for dignity, freedom, and justice for all, and empowering other young people to join in. Let me invite you to watch this film and get inspired as we are here at the United Nations Human Rights Office, get inspired by their work. Around the world, young people are leading change, demanding action on climate change, on racism, on gender equality, and they are calling for justice and the fundamental freedoms and human rights we are all entitled to. On a personal note, me too, I started my human rights and human rights education journey when I was 19 and I was beginning my university years. So to the many students and young people attending this event, I would like to encourage all of you to get involved, learn more about human rights and become human rights educators joining the, the global human rights education movement and community. As young people must be leading in planning, designing and implementing human rights education programs for their peers within an environment that supports their participation and leadership and where intergenerational dialogue is promoted. This is a key message of the World Programme for Human Rights Education, which is currently dedicated to youth and which all states of the United Nations have proclaimed and have committed to implement nationally. To conclude, on behalf of my office, the UN Human Rights Office, I would like to invite all of you in your respective roles functions and activities to engage even more during this Universal Declaration 75th anniversary year. Use it as an opportunity to boost human rights and human rights education work and to establish partnerships and collaboration with others. As the, U the Universal Declaration of Human Rights is not just a United Nations document, but has a major significance for all of us, all different but all equal members of the human family. I would like to thank you or already and uh, uh, with appreciation re really for your work in the area of human rights and human rights education 
and I wish you good discussions to come in this seminar. Thank you.